Hi there, Waltoners. I'm Jack, and this is DSY Newscast, and today I want to talk about some classic Disney attractions. As you see recently, Disney's been announcing quite a few new projects involving these beloved classics. Some we were expecting, like the Country Bear Jamboree, getting a whole new show with Disney-inspired songs, and others caught us pleasantly by surprise, like an upcoming revamp to Test Track that will draw inspiration from the original World of Motion attraction in Epcot. Although the two I want to talk about today involve Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion. But let's begin with some pirates. As at Destination D23, it was announced that the attraction is going to be expanding to include an all new pirates themed lounge at the Magic Kingdom. And the reason this is important is that in Disney vernacular, the term lounge is almost always associated with a bar that serves alcohol such as the Nomad Lounge at Animal Kingdom, the Enchanted Rose Lounge at Grand Floridian, and the Tambu Lounge at the Polynesian, just to name a few examples. And so this is likely to be the first ever standalone bar at the Magic Kingdom, which to many viewers out there, much like myself, this is a much welcomed big deal. As you see, throughout Magic Kingdom's five decade long existence, it has predominantly been what's called a dry park, meaning that it did not serve any alcohol or liquor of any kind, with the only exception being that in 2012, Disney loosened those rules a little bit to allow beer and wine to be offered only when dining at a table service restaurant like Be Our Guest. But apart from that, Magic Kingdom has remained a dry park. Meanwhile, in recent years, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom has joined Epcot in drinking around the world with the Thirsty River Bar and Nomad Lounge at Animal Kingdom and Baseline Tap House and Ogre's Cantina at Hollywood Studios. And so with the news that Magic Kingdom's getting this pirate-themed watering hole, it brings us to the question, of where it's going to be located. And much like many of you, when this was announced, I initially thought that this must be going into Tartuga Tavern. However, upon further reflection, I don't think it is. As if this was to be taking over Tartuga Tavern, then why wouldn't it have just been announced as being that location on stage? And the way that it was even described was as a brand new tavern that extends Pirates of the Caribbean. And since Tortuga is already pirate themed, it would be a bit of a stretch to call this a brand new tavern. And so I feel that we might have all been Barker birding up the wrong tree here, as there's another location that in my opinion makes way more sense, and that is the former Pirates League location, as it's nestled between the Pirates of the Caribbean entrance and the exit gift shop. As you see, this location was used as an additional cast member break room space during the pandemic. However, it didn't close because of a pandemic, but instead, in January of 2020, it was announced that it was going to be closing on July 26, 2020. And so clearly, Imagineers have had plans for its replacement for quite a while. But for those unfamiliar, the Pirates League was the pirate-themed version of Bibbity Bobbity Boutique that opened alongside that experience in 2009. And it was an excellently themed location that had theming above and beyond what you would have expected for a children's makeup area. And I also have it on good authority that much of this theming was left intact during the pandemic. And so clearly Imagineering will be able to repurpose and add to it for the lounge. However, the last piece of evidence to all of this that gives me confidence that the Pirates League is the likely location for this new Pirates themed bar is if we cross examine the concept art of both the Pirates League and also this new tavern and compare it, we can see that there's an awful lot of similarities. As you can see that there's the same arched doorway with the sconces on the wall next to it, there's the same ledge with decorative items lining the walls around the outside and even the rafter beams had the flag draped over it. So judging from this, it seems that Imagineering might have gone back to this concept art to draw inspiration and then update it for the new Pirate Tavern project. And then there's other reasons for why this location makes a lot of sense, as you see with it being the first ever bar in Magic Kingdom, it's going to be insanely popular and will likely require a reservation style system like the one implemented for Ogre's Cantina. And that's where this front desk area and extra space comes in handy, as then they'll be able to check in guests for their designated time slots, much like Ogre's Cantina. And with there only being two doors to the location, Disney will then be able to control the flow in and out of the bar, similar to the very intimate and exclusive atmosphere of Trader Sam's Grog Grotto at the Polynesian. 
However, even though the theming won't require much work, this location will still need some sort of plumbing added to the bar. But it won't require a kitchen because the close proximity to Tartuga Tavern means that Disney will be able to direct guests across the way instead. And so that's everything that we can deduce at the moment about this new Pirates themed bar as we're still awaiting an opening time frame. But that's not all in terms of bars being themed to iconic Disney attractions, as you see the Haunted Mansion is going to be coming to the high seas as a bar on board the Disney Cruise Line's upcoming ship, the Disney Treasure, that is scheduled to set sail in December of 2024. And this Haunted Mansion parlor looks absolutely phenomenally themed, as it's meant to be reminiscent of a first class drawing room inspired by the golden age of cruise liners. However, with a very obvious Haunted Mansion twist, as apparently this is set to extend the storytelling of the mansion, as it features a jovial captain who entered the ghostly realm after a disastrous dinner with his beloved fiance. And needless to say, the happy haunts received the ship's sympathetic vibrations and began to materialize. And that's not all, as this Haunted Mansion parlor is in addition to two more bars themed to classic Disney attractions, as they've previously announced that the Skipper Society, a lounge inspired by the Jungle Cruise, and the Periscope Pub, which is also inspired by the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction, are also going to be getting their own bars on the Disney Treasure as well. But this Haunted Mansion bar is easily the one that I'm most excited to come to fruition, as after all, I did a whole Waltoneering Armchair Imagineering video on this topic last October, describing in great detail why I thought that Disney should build a Haunted Mansion restaurant at the Magic Kingdom. And after seeing the reception online for this Haunted Mansion bar being announced for the Disney Treasure, I think it's more likely than ever that we might see Disney add either a Haunted Mansion restaurant or bar to the Magic Kingdom in the future as well, especially considering how it could easily work as part of a Villains Land expansion plans beyond Big Thunder Mountain. But now it's over to you the Waltoners, I would like to know which of these classic Disney attractions getting their own bar are you most excited for and which other classic Disney attraction would you like to see get its own bar in one of the parks as well. And if you've enjoyed this video for today then be sure to give this video a thumbs up, check out the rest of the videos on the channel and maybe subscribe down below as well. And I'd also like to give a massive shout out to the official Waltoner Club over on Patreon and the Waltoner Gold members that you can see here and also Waltoner Diamond member Kyle Mahan. And with all of that being said for today, I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.